Okay, so hello everyone, I hope that you are doing well and uh, today I'm going to tell you how the Chinese tourists so you can see we are going to uh, Galerie Lafayette and it's where you have uh, many, many, many Chinese people many Chinese people, they buy, they, they buy the product here they buy the product here and um, my wife told me the other day <laughs> they're getting chilled, so how do they get chilled? I don't know how they get chilled you. So how do they get cheated? They come here with the bus and then they have the, tour, the guide and the guide is cheating them, cheating them, cheating them. So for instance, um, they will go to uh, Galerie Lafayette and the guide will ta take his commission each time. They will bring them to the, to the shop and say, go over there, it's a very good shop. And the guide will take his, his share of the, of the sale. Or another thing that you have, uh, to, you know, you have the tax refund. So the, the guide will not tell them about tax refund. Many of these guys, they have no clue. They are Chinese people. They come there, they buy, they are very rich. And they save a lot all the year and they, they are in France. They want to spend, spend, spend. So they will not get the tax refund money and the guide will take the tax refund money. So you just imagine when you have 20 people, each of them, each of them is going to spend at least 1,000 euro, 20,000 euro, and you get, I don't know, uh, how much, like 5 to 10% uh, for the tax refund for yourself. So that's how the guide is going to teach cheat them. There are many other ways, huh? there are many other ways. For instance, last year there was a scandal, uh, so they would all go to the... Um, uh, let, let me go there. They will all go to, uh, to the... Um, to the museum so of course they will all go to the museum they will all go to the louvre they will all go to some other museum i will go to the street here there's less people so it's less. they will all go to the street uh, to, to the to the museum they will all pay for the museum but what happens is that uh, the tourist guy they will reuse the ticket so they will come with one group of tourists and then they will uh, use the ticket buy the ticket one time and then they will reuse it for another group so they have like 20 tourists or 50 tourists and the ticket is uh, maybe 10 euro or 5 euro. They will only pay one time and then after they will, they will make the tourists, they will make the Chinese people pay a second time and a third time and they just take the money for themselves. And in fact, they will reuse the ticket. Can you imagine? They will reuse the ticket and they make a lot of money on people's back. And when, when I, uh, and last year, um, and, and when I learned about this, I really, I really, you know, it dis disgusts me, you know, disgust me. So my wife, when I, when I speak to my wife, say, oh yeah, but it's the same in France, it's the same in France. No, it's not the same in France. No, some people are going to behave this way in France. Some people are going to behave this way. You know, they are, they, they are, they are bad people everywhere. So this will, this will happen. Oh, she is running away. That's okay. it's this will happen everywhere, but, but, but not to that extent, you know. But China is the society where you cheat others. And, and it doesn't matter, you cheat others. Oh, that's, he's my, he's my tourist. I can cheat him, huh? He's my, yeah, I, I can cheat him for this. I can take this from him. There's no value, there's no morals, there's no belief. And let me, let me uh, leave you because, uh, let's, you know, this, 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 this wouldn't happen to this extent in China. This wouldn't happen. And you as a foreigner in China, you will be cheated the same. You have a, uh, someone, a guide, who will translate for you. She's going to translate the wrong thing. She's going to bring you to the wrong place. She's going to cheat you. Uh, she's going to cheat you at all levels, you know. Uh, but, but, you know, in other societies, it's not going to happen the same. It will happen maybe a little bit, but not that much. But over there is just... Everything is cheating. Everything. And it depends on the perception. People will say, oh, no, it's not cheating. He's doing business. Oh, no, it's... It's not cheating, it's, it's, but uh, to me, tu viens pas. It's not cheating to recruit. Ouais. Monter sur mes épaules. Non, non, on va voir avec Paul et le truc. It's not cheating. It's doing business, you know. But no, it's not doing business. Uh, I remember once I had a talk with some of you, and you were telling me, I, oh, I can ask you five times the price. It costs five times, and it happened to me huh, quite a few times in China. You go there, I know exactly the price. I want to buy an oil bike or I want to buy, I don't know, some clothes. And then they will ask me, oh, 200 yuan? No, it costs five, five yuan or it costs 10 yuan. Oh, it's just bargaining, huh? It's bargaining, it's not cheating. It's cheating, you know? Bargaining is when, okay, maybe it costs 180 and you try to sell it to me at 200. But you sell it to me 10 times, 20 times the price. Of course it's cheating, you know? Of course it's cheating. 
And this is this is something that has to change. But people have no belief, no value, and this is going to happen all the time. Uh, I need to give leave you because I'm going I'm going to to go in there. I will have another another topic that I will discuss with you soon. Alors, tu vas pas là? Au revoir les amis.